Hello everyone. We will continue the topic usual ABAP class. And in the previous video, we fetched data from VBAK table. We fetched data from VBAP table. And our data is in two internal table. From these two internal tables, we need to fill this output internal table because it is a exporting parameter. Ultimately, our data should pass to the output parameter or we can say exporting parameter. Now, how we will do the same? Now, we need to fill this final internal table or we can say output internal table. Whenever we want to fill a internal table, what is the internal table operation for the same append, append. Now, append always insert the data at the last of the internal table. What is the syntax for the append statement? Append work area to internal table. It means we need to go for work area also. This internal table, this internal table, which is a exporting parameter. See, this internal table has how many column? Six column. It means we also require a work area of how many column? Six column. Now, you all know very, very well now how you can declare a work area. Work area type structure. Work area type structure type. Structure can be local, can be global. So, what are the ways to go for structure? What are the ways to go for work area? Work area type structure type. The structure can be local, can be global. Now, just think do we already have a structure available for six column? Yes, we already created the structure type of six column. So can we use same to same structure? Yes, we can yes, use same to same structure. We already created the structure type of six column through SC11 transaction code. So we can use same to same structure. If you do not want to use, no problem. With the help of type statement, create a structure of six column and your work area will refer to that structure. But if we have something is already available, we should use that particular thing. So I will simply, simply declare a work area. Suppose my name of the work area is LWA underscore output. Now I will write type. Do not give the name of table type because if you will write work area type, table type, so it will become a internal table. If so, but in case of work area, we should never, never refer the word table. So work area is always type, structure type. So just double click on the table type. This is your structure type. This is your structure type, which has six column. So copy the name of the structure and you can pass here. If you are not comfortable with this way, no issue. Create a structure of six column through type statement and then write work area type that structure name. But yes, remember if something we already created, we should use that particular thing because it is no difference at all. We are using a global structure to declare there is no difference at all. Now, what we will do from these two internal tables, now we will fill our final internal table. Now, we will go for loop statements. 
वन बाय वन वी विल पास द डेटा टू वर्क एरिया फ्रॉम द वर्क एरिया वी विल पास द डेटा टू अवर आउटपुट इंटरनल टेबल नाउ compulsory we need to go for nested loops it is compulsory we cannot avoid loop why we cannot avoid loop just simple if i will go to vb ak table i am giving a sales order number suppose 44 you can give any sales order number it depends upon the data when i give 44 So from VBAK table, I am getting how many record? Single record. Now, if I will go to VBAP table, in VBAP table, these two are the primary keys. It means duplicate records of a order number is possible. Now, if I will go to the contents and I will put forty four here, you can see. we have duplicate records of a vb eln sales order number because these two are the combination of primary key this combination is unique this combination is unique so compulsory we need to go for loop inside loop loop inside loop because if you will go for read table Read table always always return the first matching record. So this forty four will match with this forty four only. It will be skipped. So compulsory we need to go for nested loops here. So I will go for loop inside loop. So I will write a loop here. i will put a loop on first internal table into first work area for every loop there is a end loop now we will put a nested loop loop at lt underscore data one into lw a data one and what is the where condition where what is the common vb eln is equal to first work area vb eln so whatever is coming into first work area vb eln that will be passed to vb eln of second internal table because yes we all know values always pass from right to left whenever i will explain in the debugging mode you will understand the flow very easily so i put end loop now one by one we will pass that data to this work area then from the work area we will pass it to internal table what is the work area lwa output what is first column vb eln it is coming from this work area vb eln now control d is the shortcut to duplicate a line and now i will change the column names vb eln er dat er zdt er num post nar matenar same changes i will do here also er dat E R Z E T E R N Post N Matter N. Now last two things are from second work area. 
Now, one by one, we pass that data to output work area, or you can say final work area. But we need to pass that data to this internal table. And you know what is the syntax for the append statement? Append work area to internal table. So one by one, records will go to work area. From the work area, we are passing it to internal table. Never, never forget to clear the work area after each, after the append statement. Clear work area. I will check the syntax and I will LWA output. I'll check the syntax and activate. So now we have finished with the logic part in the usual ABAP class method. From these two internal table, we fill this final internal table. I will just simply execute this method that we are getting a output or not. I'm running the class method independently because anyways, after that, we need to call in the program. I'll just run this class method. You can click on to execute button. What is the name of the method we gave? Get underscore data. I will click on to this execute button. Suppose I will go for same to same input 44. Your data might vary from your system. You can check in your table which data is present. You can check for that particular data. I'm going to execute. Now you can see this is our output internal table. When I clicked here, you can see our data is in the form of internal table. We have six columns and two rows. This first four column data from VBAK. This two column data from which table? VBAP table. So what is the summary of the video? In this video from these two internal tables, we fill this final internal table or we can say our output internal table using which statement? Append statement. We put the loop and we fill this final internal table. And compulsory, we need to go for loop inside loop because for one sales order, I have multiple records in the second internal table. In this scenario, I cannot go for read table. Otherwise, it will be a data loss. And yes, whenever we are going for nested loops, parallel cursor is compulsory, compulsory. Anyways, I will not apply at this point of time. It is already covered in the ABAP programming playlist. Compulsory, we need to go for parallel cursor and we run the method independently, it is giving the expected output. Now in the next video, we will call this method inside the program. So that's it in this video. Thank you.